All right, we are back. All right, Mr. Elf, you've got your goods. Ah, oh, you have. Excellent. Um. Yes, I have just the place. He, he phased it in and out of existence there for a second. Ah, phenomenal. Let me have a look. Ah, yes, exactly as described. Good work. Here's your pay. Yay, pay. Very good. And in excellent condition, it seems. Wonderful. That is very impressive, my friend. You are certainly more than a mere treasure hunter. Nah. Um, Which brings me to my next proposal. Indiana Jones in this bitch. I'm in need of a full-time partner of sorts. Ooh. A person of your caliber who can dedicate themselves to uncovering more lost artifacts and re and you have proven yourself more than capable of the job. And I think a special arrangement could work. Instead of me simply buying the relics off of you, perhaps you could bring them here, lend them to the museum. I'll give you an occasional finder's fee and we'll safeguard your collection for you. Works for me. You'll be able to access any and all of your collection as you see fit and you'll know the rest of it will be safe in your absence. Excellent. Well, let me give you the Ten Septum Tour, then. Yeah, sure. This building was once called Magnarian Hall and was built as a temple dedicated to Talos, the patron god of the Nords. Hmm. After the White Gold Concord it, however, the... St With... It's Tefok for a cloak for that, that better immersion. And the temple closed. I came here a few years ago and was able to procure use of the space in the pursuit of establishing this museum. Of course, I have had the building vastly expanded over the last two years. Hell yeah, dude, it looks to sick. To accommodate what I hope will become one of the grandest collections of Tamrielic history in the world. This grand atrium sure, I'll I call make it the great. Hall of Heroes. It is where a variety of historically significant relics can be displayed. And it's quite a striking entrance to the museum, if I do say so myself. Yeah, it All is. To the right is the reception hall and staff barracks, as well as the museum office where I do much of my work. To our left, you'll find the central hallway leading to all the other galleries of the museum, which also serves as the cultural arts exhibit. Here, I hope to display a variety of art as well as elements representing the more primitive cultures here in Skyrim, hmm. such as the Falmer, Forsworn, the Giants, and more. Down here on the lower level, you will find access to the East Exhibit Halls, which houses the Daedric Gallery, the Hall of Lost Empires, Hall of Oddities, and the Hall of Legends, which showcase a vast array of relics pertaining to the Daedra, Dwemer, Fulmer, and ancient Nordic cultures, as well as a number of peculiar items that defy simple classification. Interesting. At the end of this hall, the stairwell will oh, he actually the points. The basement and up to the second floor. Interesting. There, you will find access to the Natural Science Gallery, as well as the Dragonborn Hall, where I will commission a variety of displays heralding any of your accomplishments. At the far end of the hallway on both floors, you'll find access to the Grand Library, and here on this floor, the door on the right also connects to the museum office. If you cannot find me in my office, you will almost certainly find me whiling away the hours in the library. Also, you should pick up a copy of the museum. I apologize for a little bit of a we'll let you know the thunder in the back. Working, should you need to find me. And it will offer you an easier way of navigating the museum, as well as keep track of how many displays our museum has. Of course, it may take me a moment to update those issues, so check the guide again if you feel the numbers. I'm sure I'll eventually account for everything. Any items you find or display, you can either manually place them yourself, or utilize the prep station in my office. Okay. And I'll ensure everything you have gets properly displayed if it has an appropriate place. Works for I'm me. I'm likely to have a variety of tasks for you, but in between, I'm sure you could help me find a random relic or two I've been researching. Feel free to look around and come find me if you have any questions. I'm very excited about the prospects of where we are headed. All right. First things first. Uh... Actually, let's, let's keep these off just in case they crash something. If we need them, we'll turn them on. Greetings. Um, let's go grab the... Actually, I might be holding stuff that can be put in the, uh... The natural hall. Yeah, here we go. Let's just do a quick run through here and see if there's anything I can place.
What a load screen. Nope. Uh -huh. Nope. You never know what you have, so I'm just gonna run by real quick and. I don't think I have anything for you to use. No. I think it was just the wolf. Yeah, it looks like it was just the wolf. Uh, let's get some of these paintings up. I think I have two, though. There's three. All right, let's see. How are we on? Oh, we are full of stuff. Oh, actually, let's. Let's use the prep station. Actually, let's do this level up. Um, oh, there's something I wanted to look at, which was uh, Might use a bound bow for uh, dragon related killings. That's why I was interested in some of the perks that were in that tree. Like, our tentative goal right now is we need to make some moolah. How much? We have. Let's make sure we're grabbing everything. A method to your madness, and your madness is the method. Seems that hmm, blades, helmets, pretty much anything to suit your needs. One second. I will be right back. I have to fix the sound. I apologize for that. We are having some audio issues. Um, how much really do I have left to sell? Not that much. All right. Um. <laughs> So our goal now is we need to get enough gold to buy that farm we were looking at in um Take my advice. Too many drinking games, too He's a stubborn old. I don't know what good it'll do. Sure. Um So do we have any Is this 
out there. We can do that. You should speak to my daughter a bit. She's the brave. All right. Let's get on our way. Um, I'm not exactly sure what order I want to do everything in, but I know our goal is to eventually fill up the entire, uh, or fill up the museum most of the way. I'm probably not going to do the companions. I might. My father was probably not, I but I might. I, felt so lost for I apologize for the thunder again. Just think of it as, um, ambiance, if you will. Yeah, ambiance. But um, I'm not sure if I'm going to do the uh, the entirety of the um, Companions quest line. I don't know. I've been thinking about maybe making other characters and using them for the more appropriate stories. Like still doing them on this character so that we can get, eventually get that nice full uh, Dragonborn Hall. But doing them as another character that's maybe a little bit more immersive makes a little bit more sense for that character to be doing that story i don't know let me know if you have any opinions about that either way i don't know we'll probably just continue through most of it on this character at the very least we're going to do college main story dragonborn uh college main story dragonborn thieves guild dark brotherhood that kind of stuff. Now I'm I'm gonna do the Dongard too, but I was thinking about maybe doing like a um, making possibly like a a paladin style character and doing that because I have a uh, I have a magic mod installed called I think it's like Triumvirate or something, and it adds different like styles of or like seven different like styles of classes. So I was thinking about maybe. And this character is going to use one of them, but I was thinking about maybe using one of the others for another playthrough. I don't know. Right, I think, uh, actually probably not. We're just going to do the Dawn Guard in this character because I actually think the Dawn Guard is the f one of the first things I want to do. Yes, I'm not gonna ask again. Don't you get away from me. That was a word expecting that. Mercy. You just tried to kill me. What do you mean, mercy? Ooh, that is expensive. Actually, we might need an iron dagger for the museum. That more, yeah. Nothing to see here. I, no. I didn't just escape your prison nearby here. Gotta make sure we're uh, we're spamming some spells on our way to to this place. Ooh, this looks like a bit of a, a, bit of a tussle. them to it. I'm actually interested in this. this place up here. That spell went right past him.
Oh my gosh. It was a joke, it was a joke. Y'all killed each other yet? That looks like it. So I gotta grab all that loot because I think I might need some of that for the gallery. Oh, they're still fighting up here. Dang, it looks like the storm cloaks got destroyed. That stuff is still needed. Sadly, it doesn't look like any of the Imperial guys got died, so I can't go get their stuff. Sag. Storm is rolling in. Oh, where you at? Come on now, bring it, bring it, Dougie. Bring it. Easy. Gotta make sure we're spamming some illusion magic on the way there. We wanna get our illusion magic up to like I think it's 40 we get the the spell for silent casting, which is gonna be important for our stealth face build. Alright, this will actually hit. There we go. Alright. You know what to do. Looks like only two of them right now. Oh. And these calm spells are super useful. Especially when. Night night. Easy. Actually, do we have an X? We do have an X already. sure we get all our loot. empty wine bottles they're drunkards too Skuma, they were on that on that good stuff. I think there's chests down here if I remember correctly. It's flipping freezing down here. Oh, we can't get out that way. chests on this side. Doesn't look like it. Well, we cleared that place out. 
I want to grab this, uh, looks like a shrine or something over here. Oh, and we can kill some mud crabs and maybe some horkers while we're over here. That one's already dead. Come on. Night, night. Oh, the Shagorath altar. Uh, hi. You there, uh, citizen. You're interfering with imperial business. Yeah, so you'll have to pay us a fine. Say, a hundred gold. Fine. If you can't pay with coins, uh -oh. pay with your life. You now, ain't this Alright, we, we sow the seeds of chaos, and then we profit. Holy hell, you are... A lot scarier than your friends. Uh-oh, that was the wrong spell. <laughs> that was the wrong spell. That's why I mentioned this Pick up some steel if you want to fight me. Yeah, sure. Get out of How dare you? Night night. Uh, I think I actually need all that for the gallery. Yeah, here are the actual soldiers. It looks like that they stole that gear from. Uh, poor unfortunate souls. Uh, I think all this stuff is worth a lot. I think it's actually a rare item. Where's their other friend? Die. Uh, And we are becoming quite the fighter. I actually even bumped up the difficulty. You are actually exactly what I have been looking for. You are a lot thicker than I thought you would be. Thicker than I thought you'd be. I expected him to go down real easy, but now. Can grab this and maybe that standing stone up there and then make our way back into town with our loot. Maybe do some more. We might have to do a couple more things. Our end goals we're trying to get a uh, enough gold to be able to purchase that property. From the Yarl. Or enough uh, gold to be able to purchase that farm that someone was selling. In uh That was pathetic. It didn't even do anything. Yep. Didn't do anything, totally. You need something. <laughs> yeah, totally. That spell didn't do anything. Totally worthless, you're right. Oh man, I love illusion magic. I never used it before recently, but I actually 
unironically love the whole illusion magic play style. It's so like... I don't know, it's kind of different. Skyrim's combat isn't very good, so it's like... That's, I feel like, why people generally like, you know, stealth style stuff is because when you're one-hitting most of the stuff and the actual challenge is just trying to get around undetected, the game is actually quite fun. Not that normal combat is awful, but, you know. And Illusion kind of just lets you play a stealthy character, but also do some, some really cheesy things. Alright. Uh, what's our carry weight? Looks like we're almost maxed out. I'm going to make my way back to town, uh, and then talk to the Jarl. To get our reward for, uh, for clearing out that bandit. And I will... See you whenever we're back in town. Alright, here we are. Let's get our payment. You have business. Excellent. You've done a hundred gold, service. are you kidding me? Here's your reward. It wasn't worth it. Let's actually disenchant some stuff while we're here. I think this is the only enchanting table we're relatively close to. Beginning our journey into the the deeper arcane arts. Let's go back to the museum real quick. Drop off whatever we can. And then we need to figure out a way to make some money. <laughs> I forget, where's the weapons hall? Is it down here? Sometimes I forget where uh, some of the stuff is in the the new museum. I played a lot on with the uh, the older museum. Hall of Oddities. Lost Empires. No, it's not in here. Fifteen new displays. Maybe up here. Oh, that's the library, Dragonborn Hall. Oh, that's something different. Natural Science. Is it down, actually? I think there's another... Yeah, there's another place down here. I think this is where it is. Armory, yes, this is what we're looking for. Looking a little bit better. Need to get a set of a uh, guard armor for each uh, each type. Store one of those. No, I farewell. Ah, wait. Greetings. Oh yes, I haven't. I'll mark the location on your map. See you around. Firebrand wine. Wait a minute. Dramatic. Dramatic storm is dramatic. What the hell did you give me? You obviously gave me something. Uh. You know what? 
We're gonna do a quick reload because I'm a little worried that whatever happened, he didn't give me the item. So we're actually just gonna wait for him because he's gonna pop up here soon to give us uh, whatever item we've earned because we hit 50 items in the uh, in the hall. Just gonna give it a second. There we go. I've come across a fair discovery. Use it if you wish, or place it on display. Okay, skull crusher. Yeah, that definitely wasn't in our inventory. Dramatic thunder. Alright, there we go. We found where, uh, Skull Crusher goes, so we put that up. Now we are off. Ooh, the donation box is not here, so we might go some more. Yeah, mainly what we're after is we're after a way to grow stuff. Actually, now that I think about it, I think there's a. in the hideout. There's planter boxes. So maybe we should just plan on doing that instead of doing the farm. Uh. Alright, let's uh let's let's rent a room at the inn, sleep for the night, and then we're gonna Sorry, we're gonna um, get some shiz done. We've made a little bit of a detour to come out to Riverwood. Um, and the reason we have, because I really hate this chicken right here. Yeah, this one right here. Too many witnesses. Fear back. Come on. Oi, Fen. Chew. Trying to try to take care of some business between me and this chicken. Look at him waddling back and forth. Valuable animal. <sighs> One second. I'll be back. All right. Um, it died of old age. So, uh, yeah, the reason we killed this is because, um, yeah. So, uh, this is for one of the mods I, uh, I have. It's called, uh, I think it's Triumvirate or something like that. And it adds different uh, play styles, like seven new play styles and tons of different spells. And this is how you, this is the cheaty way to get them. Um. Totally honest, I would get them the normal way, but the mod only adds them at a couple vendors and they seem to not show up really like on level correctly. So I'm just gonna get gonna pick out the ones I need for RP purposes. So uh and for, you know, actually fun just wanting to play this character, because I wanna use one of these. So uh I'll be right back after I pick them out. We're also gonna do some some light thievery while we're here. Our character is a. Uh, as much as we started off more on the on the straight and narrow, we kind of a. Uh, we kind of don't got a lot of allies here in Skyrim. It's basically us and the museum curators, so we need everything we can get. 
Actually, I just realized I won't be able to find a way to sell most of this stuff. Uh, screw it. I'll just steal a tiny bit of stuff. Okay, we're good. Um, so let's use all the books we got. So this is uh, the books we got is the uh, the Shadow Mage play style. Um, we're uh, the RP reason. That's what the runes are for. Is a uh, that's why other people don't have the uh, knowledge of what the hell it is. Is because uh, someone imbued it with us, and that's why we have the weird runes on us. Shitty RP reason, but you know what? I, I couldn't think of anything more clever, and I wanted to use the mod, so we're going with it. So, I'm only gonna... Even though I learned everything now, I'm only gonna use the lower level stuff until we're we're higher. So... This, this is a, a teleport that's really fun. Uh, move faster in combat, we might just leave that one there. So it's essentially it's a, some teleports, um, the ability to cast like a some darkness on the ground basically that makes us do more damage. Um, and then some spells that just do some shadow damage over time, or. Uh, this is the this is a cool one, which is that it gives you a melee dash attack that incur, uh, converts some magicka to damage, which is pretty cool. But yeah, so that's what the playstyle is about. It's all magicy and shadow assassiny and teleporty. So I thought it was pretty cool. So yeah, we're gonna we're gonna pretend that chicken didn't happen, and we're gonna pretend uh, our studies of magic slowly helped us develop it. Uh, the powers, so shh, don't don't tell anyone we slightly cheated. It's okay, it'll make the experience better, I swear. Um, it's the last cheat we're gonna do. But now that we're over here, um, I kind of want to get up to like level ten, so we might head out to White Run and. Uh, Actually, I could do Bleak Falls Barrow while I'm here. Yeah, let's do the OG. Let's do the OG. Uh, actually, Ember Shard Mine is near here, too. Let's do that. Let's just go do that real quick. Uh, I want to get to level 10 because I want to start the Dawn Guard story. That's kind of like where I want to start because I want to get Serana as a follower because I have a mod that overworks how Serana works. Um, and then turns her into a pretty cool follower. So I want to get to that point. Um... But anyway, back to the the, the more in-universe character. I just wanted to, to break the wall a little bit and, and tell you what the plan was. Oh, also, there's a there's a quest. In, there's a quest that I just found out today down here in Riften that actually gives you 15% magic resist, which I think it actually is probably pretty useful for our higher difficult, slightly higher difficulty playthrough. Um, it's where I go and do that soon too, but. I am going to make my way to this camp over here. Die. Ooh, that's a, a texture glitch. But anyway, I'm actually going to redo my favorites real quick, so I will be right back. Alright, I've set up stuff the way I like it. Our sneak is crappy, so we're gonna go with the old, uh... Yo, common cheese, baby. Ah. Man, it's cheesy. 
but I'm not going to lie. There's something satisfying about the whole illusion magic and basically just saying, yeah, you saw me. I'm going to walk behind you and kill your ass anyway. Um, let's get the second level of one-handed. We have that. Oh. Get more damage from that. And we're actually getting close to that illusion perk, so I'm gonna leave that there for now. Alright. Let's go in.